This one is uh, about digital engineering. And as you might guess from the title, it's not about computer science, but computer science is a huge part of it, uh, an important part of it. So I'm uh, in computer science and we have colleagues from uh, different faculties here. So I will go uh, talk a little bit about this, but we're not just, uh, well, our university name is Bauhaus Universität Weimar. And uh, maybe you've heard about the Bauhaus. It, it's a movement uh, 100 years ago, probably started it, the unity of arts and technology. And here in, in Weimar, this is uh, also a special place with a great tradition and, and we try to keep up this tradition to unify arts, technology and different branches of, of technology, engineering, computer science. Um, <clears throat> so Weimar is, is well known for modern design, modern architecture that was invented at Bauhaus Weimar and there are some great famous sculptures and painters uh, that were at the Bauhaus teaching here uh, and our university is well with the success and succession of, of different schools uh, we, we basically uh, came from the Bauhaus uh, school back then. <clears throat> so now uh, a bit more to the degree program. So it's a master's program, it's called digital engineering. And the key idea is basically that we have engineers on the one side uh, and, and they have practical problems to solve and improve, give services to humanity. And we have computer science on the other hand, on the other side, and actually we really need to combine those. There is uh, a demand for, the combination of the two uh, and computer science is, is needed everywhere and uh, computer science without the engineering, without the engineers, we couldn't really uh, do many things, but the engineers, they also need the computer science and uh, it's a two year program where we basically have people from both branches. So we have engineers, we have mechanical engineers, civil engineers, uh, we have uh, electrical engineers that start our program and we have also people coming just with a uh, normal computer science background. So from any of these related degrees, you can basically apply to our uh, master's program. And uh, we will see some, some differences of maybe getting both up to the same level. We will see this when we look at the curriculum, uh, but it's, it's a very, very interesting mix of, of people, mix of students that we have. Our program here is entirely taught in English as are some other of our master programs. So we have, for example, also a computer science program, which is also taught in English. Our university has about, the whole university has about 30% international students. So you can see that um, even if you look beyond uh, our own program, there'll be many projects and, and lectures offered also in English because we also have other programs in English. And uh, we actually tried to design this digital engineering program quite open so that you are able to also look into other degree programs while you're studying this program. Uh, the details are in the schedule. And one of the main idea, one of the main demands that we saw is that people need special skills for the next or next industrial revolutions, whether that's industry 4.0 or 5.0 or whatever number you give it, uh, we basically need people who understand uh, how to digitize, digitalize stuff and people who understand the engineering behind it. Um, the focus in our program is from civil engineering, but we basically take, uh, we, we have engineers from, from of, all, of all kinds, but as you will see in the curriculum, uh, there's a, more focus on the civil engineering side. The profession and career that you can go into, that's uh, yeah, almost endless. Uh, so although a lot of this stuff is, is basically engineering related, we had some people that come to us as engineers, as maybe mechanical engineers, and they end up going to work at some banks in data analysis. So it's really, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's mixed. Our, our program uh, shows you the, the parts that you can learn from the engineering, the parts that you can learn in the, in the computer science and what you do afterwards with it, uh, the, yeah, the possibilities are almost endless. <laughs> um, our teaching that we do here at Bauhaus University, it's project-based and research-led. So uh, you will be involved in some of the research that the uh, different groups do here at Bauhaus University in different areas, in, in, in all the engineering areas, civil engineering areas, uh, also in the computer science. And if you want, you can even go and do projects that are combined with the people that do, for example, the arts uh, in our university. Sometimes we, we have pro 
projects uh, offered together with um, artists that take our projects and then this this gets a really really nice interdisciplinary mix so we are interdisciplinary anyways but uh, sometimes it's even more interdisciplinary in our um, project uh, this is the curriculum overview now this looks really uh, well boring that you take fundamentals 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 modeling 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 and the reason that this looks is these are basically placeholders and you can even move those placeholders so the general idea is that you get the fundamentals done early on then you have some modeling part about the modeling in, in engineering uh, you have the visualization and data science part and you have the simulation and validation part and you have some research project and of course your master's module so it's a it's a two-year program um, and each of these blocks of these uh, normal size blocks that's basically six credits uh, and then there are some smaller blocks for example electives here you could take uh, as an example language classes so uh, you can bring in i think six credits of, of language classes if you want um, and then some initial research before you do your master's project but now let's look at these these blocks here uh, you can actually move them around almost in any combination as you like some blocks are depending on other blocks that's based on how you fill these blocks um, so for example the this research project you can only do once you have completed all your fundamentals and um, other than that you can move almost everything uh, as you like and you can pick stuff from our module catalog so these are these are just some examples and let's look first at the fundamental blocks so everybody who applies for our digital engineering program we will review the application and we will um, decide what are the foundations that we want this student to complete so that they are basically up to speed with all the other students so in general if you're from an engineering background very likely you will get the algorithms data structures, the object-oriented modeling, and the software engineering. Uh, if you're from some computer science background, very likely uh, you will get some maybe introduction to mechanics or structural engineering models, because maybe that's what you didn't have in your first degree. So this, this kind of block in the beginning, this is to make sure that everybody's on the same page. And then um, you can specialize in different areas. So basically from all of these different areas, from the modeling area, you have to take 18 credits, simulation validation, 18 credits, visualization data science, 18 credits. Uh, there's stuff like introduction to machine learning, but also uh, more on the side of, for example, software verification. That's one thing that I would teach then. Um, and these are just some examples on the engineering side. You have, for example, advanced building information modeling or simulation methods in general. Uh, just modeling of steel structures, stuff like that, or uh, traffic systems. These are all things that you can choose to fit in these 18 credits. And usually you get uh, those six credits from one of these modules. Then you have electives. So those gray blocks here, these are electives. You could take, for example, language classes, but you can actually, it's open to take any um, lecture from any of the master programs at Bauhaus University. So there are some programs, they offer uh, modules which are called um, documentation camping, where you go for one week on the countryside and you document the, the camping and it's an art project. So you can take this as one of your uh, things that to get credit for in your digital engineering degree. That's uh, maybe, yeah, a very nice thing to be open uh, to actually look into other uh, programs as well, but you can only do this for these up to 12 uh, to be recognized as part of your uh, program. So once you fill those 12 and you can fill them, for example, with language classes or, or other interesting stuff, uh, then uh, those you can use for your degree. Uh, we have, of course, also a bunch of labs. Uh, this is a lab that was built uh, uh, some some years ago and the lab that we will move in or the whole new building that we will move in I don't have uh, a picture of it yet but we will move back next summer uh, where we will have even more interesting uh, and nice labs okay so that's it with an overview of the digital engineering at Bauhaus University